In this video, we're going to take a look at patch types for shutoff surfaces. Shutoff surfaces are basically filled surfaces that are created all in one operation. The shutoff surface feature creates a single filled surface for each of these edges that are selected. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the callouts and take a look at what we have. There are three different options for the types of fill. We have no fill, which is not going to create a surface for us. We have contact, which is what it is now, and we have tangent. Now the tangency is usually the best option when we have curvature, but in this case, this tangency is actually gonna produce some issues for us. If I select all tangent, you'll notice that all of the holes in this arc section are producing kind of a, a weird preview on the screen. Now what's going on here, if you create filled surface, you always have the option for which surface is gonna be influencing the tangency. In this shutoff surface feature, we don't have that option. What's actually happening here is the hole, which is tapered, is influencing the tangency for this patch. So that's why we're getting this cone shape. It's having the one degree draft and it's taking it all the way out to a point. Now obviously for this type of operation, for creating these shutoff surfaces, this is gonna produce bad results. So I'm gonna leave everything as contact. But just note that if you ever had to match the curvature of your part, it's probably a better idea to come back and do it manually if the preview for shutoff surfaces is creating a problem.